So what is exegesis? I mean, that's a big word. I, mean, I guess that's the theme of this week's videos, big words. Last week we talked, or last video we talked about hermeneutics. What is exegesis? And then what is eisegesis? And how are they different? And should I care? You should, but why? Let's talk about that today. Well, my name's Pastor Addison Smith, and uh, started Everything Church Pro not too long ago, all about helping people learn to really love to study their Bible for themselves, right? To dive in there, because so many people struggle to love God's Word. So many people struggle to get into it every day, and they struggle to understand it. And when you struggle to understand it, you can struggle to be motivated to get into it every day. And as a former agnostic, I went through an agnostic period in my life, I... I'm just passionate about helping people really love it and to get to know it for themselves. And so if that's interesting to you, make sure you join the Everything Church Pro family and subscribe down below. And it's absolutely free to you. You can join and get these free Bible study videos and church-related videos uh, delivered to you. So make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So let's talk about exegesis and eisegesis and should you care, right? So when you come to the Bible, there is a way that you have to think about it, right? And so there's two ways. You can either think that the meaning is in here and I need to take it out, or the meaning is in here and I need to bring it in. You say, well, why would I do that second one? Exactly, why would you do that second one? It doesn't make any sense. And this is the critical difference between exegesis in eisegesis. Exegesis means to draw out, right? So you're going into the Bible to pull the meaning out from what's already here. The meaning is in here, and we're coming to pull it out so that we can understand it and we can use it in our lives. Eisegesis brings our thoughts and imports it into the text. And so when you read it, it's really not what it's saying here. It's what you think or what you feel. And this is a danger, a danger that I fell prone to before I started to study and learn how to study the Bible, right? And I had to go to Bible college for years to learn how to study the Bible because I didn't know how. And so before Bible college, I would go and I would try to feel and think, what does this mean to me? And what do I think this means? But that's not what we're supposed to do. That's eisegesis, right? That's bringing our own feelings and thoughts into the text. You might have heard someone preach that way, and you're sitting there and you're looking and you're thinking, where, where did that come from the Bible? I don't see that. Like that's, that's not here. That's that's that person's thoughts. That's eisegesis, and it's terrible. Don't do it. Okay. But exegesis is very good, but it takes work. Exegesis takes us using the hermeneutics we talked about in our last video, which I'll link in the card above. Make sure you watch that. It takes making sure you do proper hermeneutics to pull out what is actually there what is the bible actually saying that should be your goal when you bible study what is it actually saying what does it actually mean and then you can go from what does it actually mean to how is this significant to my daily walk once you get the interpretation you can then move to the application and so i challenge you make sure you watch the, the the one we talked about on hermeneutics there's also a bonus in that video uh, an early something that you can get in on and so I challenge you to watch that. But also you can watch our How to Study the Bible video where we really go in depth on how to study the Bible so you don't do eisegesis, but you do exegesis. Well, I hope this was a blessing to you. If it was, feel free to leave a thumbs up as that does help uh, this video get discovered by others who might be benefited by it. Also, feel free to join the Everything Church Pro family and I will talk to you later.